Populous has a wide variety of spells, so it's only natural that there will be some kind of synergy between them. Whether they are actually useful or just plain quirky, here are the top 5 funky spell combinations in Populous the Beginning. Tornado is a spell designed for tearing down structures. Lightning is a spell designed to instantly kill followers and burn buildings. In Populous, there are a few buildings that have a chance to survive a tornado, such as the Fire Oriot and the Temple. Casting Tornado on a building followed immediately by a lightning will cause the building to be destroyed completely. You can use this when you want to destroy a building with a high degree of certainty or when speed is of the utmost importance. Do bear in mind that this doesn't work 100% of the time and the mana cost of both spells is almost equal to that of an earthquake. Landbridge is a spell that is used to pave the land, and Flatten is a spell that is used to flatten land. When used in conjunction with one another, you can use Flatten to manipulate the height of the Landbridge created. After casting a Landbridge, you can use Flatten to raise or lower your Shaman, and the Landbridge will adhere to the Shaman's elevation rather than the point that it was cast upon. If quick enough, you can cast multiple Landbridges, resulting in a few makeshift walkways, or even in the destruction of an opponent's settlement. Magical Shield is a notoriously strong spell due to its ability to reflect the majority of other spells. When combined with invisibility, you can sneak a force of superior followers into an opponent's base to cause havoc. A cool trick to do is to guard your shaman with your own magically shielded invisible followers. The enemy won't be able to see the followers, and when they attempt to cast a spell against your shaman, it will reflect as if the shaman has magical shield herself. Very, very cool. Kind of impractical, but makes for some fun terraforming action. Combining Landbridge with Teleport, the spell that allows your shaman to travel anywhere in the world, allows you to create some very lengthy bridges. After casting Teleport, casting a Landbridge at the location your shaman was just before she teleports will cause her to finish casting the spell at a new location, creating a causeway with the potential of being up to half the length of the globe. Do this a few times on a world with little land or with many small islands, and the map suddenly opens up, allowing your followers to freely travel wherever they choose. The ultimate winning combination now. Erode is a spell considered to be expensive and underpowered, sinking pockets of land upon where it is cast. There is a way, however, to use it to kill an entire tribe. The guest spell Armageddon that causes normal play to cease when cast and forces each tribe's followers to fight one another in a freshly terraformed arena without shaman intervention is a spell typically cast when a player is confident of a winning outcome. If you find yourself feeling unsure, however, you may call upon the powers of Erode. Because the game places your followers in your reincarnation site prior to appearing in the Armageddon's arena, if you were to erode a tribe's reincarnation site so that the center is covered in water and then cast the Armageddon spell, that tribe would be instantly defeated because all the men would drown. Now, who said he rode wasn't worth the cost?